Hey everyone, today on the Plastic Canvas we're painting the mechs of the Saxon Empire from size. Hey everyone, Matt here from The Plastic Canvas and welcome to episode 2 in this Scythe miniature painting series. Today we're painting the mechs from the Saxon Empire um, and that's because my wife and I are going to be playing the Rise of Fenris campaign soon and I'm going to be playing as the Saxon Empire, she's going to be playing as the Rusfiat Union and so I'm getting those two painted up before we start playing um, and so those are the factions that I'm starting with. Now you'll have noticed that as the video started, um, there was already a base coat down for the mech. That's because somehow, I don't actually know how, I managed to delete um, some of the early footage. Uh, I think while I was deleting footage from something else, I don't know how. Anyway, it happened. So yeah, um, I started off with a blue, uh, bluish um, base coat for the main body part of the mech. Um, and that was because I didn't really want to paint it just black, which is the main faction colour for the Saxon Empire, because I thought it wouldn't give me many opportunities to add um, many sort of contrasting elements or sort of visual interest. Um, but as I sort of painted it blue and then was getting towards doing some some yellow line work, which is the secondary uh, the, yeah, the secondary colour for the faction, um, I just wasn't really liking how it looked. So then I have gone back and yeah done that that black coat. Um, before that though, I did do a zenithal prime, but obviously that footage is gone. So I'm taking a sort of batch painting speed painting approach with these mechs because they're all the same. I'm just doing the same steps with each one. So I'm doing the four of them alongside each other and then just hitting record as I'm doing this fourth one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going through doing the same step with each of them. So I did, you know, the, the blade steel for the legs on each of them, then came back and then painted the main part of the body for each of them. Um, and then, you know, did the, just yeah, doing the, the same part on each one, just running through doing that and then going back to the first one, doing the next step for each of them, going back to the first one, then doing the next step and just working through like that. So I'm just doing some yellow line work here because the main colour for the Saxon Empire is black and then its secondary colour is yellow and I still wanted to work that um, secondary colour in somewhere. So I just found some little little parts here and there um, where I thought maybe, you know, when, when these mechs were painted, they might have put a little bit of yellow in. And for the wash here, as you can see, I've mixed Nun Oil and Agrax Earthshade, so my black and brown wash. Um, so it's mostly black just with that bit of brown so that you know it falls into all of the recesses it brings out the definition in the model all those um, like studs and bolts and things like that but then also by adding that bit of brown in there it adds that more dirty weathered kind of effect because if these mechs have been out in the fields maybe part of a couple of battles things like that they're not going to be bright shiny steel um, so yeah that um, putting that Agrax Earthshade in there just kind of dirties it up a little bit. And now what I'm doing, because that wash, I put that over all of the yellow as well, um, I'm just picking out some parts to bring back up to that um, proper yellow, just so it adds to that weathered look. So some of the paint's gotten dirty, some of it not quite as much. It just adds to that effect that, you know, they're not straight off the assembly line. Um, but, you know, if you sort of think about it, like realistically, there's not gonna be the same amount of weathering and dirt and things like that across the whole mech. Um, some of it will be a bit more condensed in some spots than others. And so I've just tried to replicate that by just painting some of the yellow. And now I'm just adding um, some, oh yeah, as it refocuses there, um, just using the blade steel and just picking out some of the edges and then just sort of feathering that in a little bit, just to create the look of 
um, some spots where the paint has worn away down to the bare steel. So it could be through a battle that's taken a couple of shots or um, you know just through general wear and tear. Again, all of this weathering just is to add to the effect that it's not straight off the assembly line, it's been out in the field for a while. Because these minis are quite small and are quite, and are quite simple, um, and there wasn't a lot of opportunity for some differentiation with the colors, I wanted to yeah, create a bit of, bit of weathering effect, and I've just done that through um, yeah, the, just making it look like some spots have, been, have gone down to the bare steel, and that other parts like those different bits of yellow, um, you know, some of them are, have a little bit more weathering on them than, than others. So here I'm using my uh, new technical Citadel paint Typhus Corrosion for the very first time. This is a technical paint that gives a rust effect. So um, yeah, it just kind of adds to the weathered effect that um, you know I've, I've, I've been doing um, in, with some other techniques. So what I'm doing here is concentrating it around the joints and where I think the rust would start and then just feathering it out um, so that it looks like it's gradually creeping through the rest of the steel. So the way that I'm doing this is I just put an initial sort of blob where I think the rust would start and then just washing, the, washing it out of the bristles and then with the wet bristles then just feathering it out and then popping some more um, where, it, where the rust is starting, feather it out just a little bit less and then pop a bit more back in where that rust would start. Because if you look at something that's actually rusty, it's not the same level of rust across the whole thing. You will have more concentrated points that are then starting to spread out. And I wanted to create that natural look here as well. So yeah, just starting at the most concentrated spot, kind of like the way that I highlight. I put my highlight down where the light would be hitting and then feather it out, then put another highlight down in that same spot, feather it out, but a bit less, then keep doing that less and less and less until I get to just the spot where it's the most concentrated. Same thing with the rust, um, just so that it gives that um, uh, a bit of a gradient. It doesn't look consistent and it looks like it has started in a spot and is then creeping through the rest of the steel. Alright, so I'm doing the exact same basing approach that I did with Gunter and Nuck from episode one. Um, firstly, to make it look like they are from the same area, but also to create a bit of um, differentiation between the bases of the different factions. Um, and on the board, um, the Saxon Empire, they come from a spot that's, uh, you know, got a bit of grass and that, but it's not super lush. All right, so just with the last couple of steps here to finish off this base and a black rim around the edge um, to make it obvious that it's part of the Saxon Empire, this mech is finished. So thank you very, very much for spending some time watching me paint another mini. As I always say, I really hope you've gotten something out of this, something that you can use in your own painting or at the very least you just enjoyed watching me paint it. Um, please do leave a comment down below, something that you like and something that you think can be improved and hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date with these videos as they keep coming out. And if you haven't been past the Facebook, Twitter and Instagram accounts yet for this channel, please do stop by there um, and yeah, as I'm putting up pictures of things that I'm working on so that you know what's going to be coming out. So this is Matt from The Plastic Canvas signing out. Happy painting everyone. Cheers.